Hey guys and welcome back to City Skylines and this episode we'll be doing some more expansions of the city as well as fixing these traffic problems turn on three times speed as you can see there's a lot of backup here and the cars are mostly turning left and right so I guess something I would like to do is one create another interchange here for these this area as well as maybe creating another one here and more expansion as i said before so i think i'm gonna do this this one first and since i said previous that this and this were not equal distances which bothers me but there's not much I can do now since I already created such a big plot. So, let's see. And once again, turn off the guidelines. <laughs> hmm? Okay. There. Like so. And this was just gonna be another normal ish. Diamond interchange. And I'm not gonna connect it that way because it's not gonna have that yet. And then connect it once again. Well, actually, I'm just gonna put it on this side because since the interchange, the big highway interchange is so close, it really isn't a good idea to have it going so near here. But this way is kind of fine, I think. And people are already using it. Great. And another one here, which goes both ways. And how far is this? 26. That's 25. 26. And overpass. And the ramps. And the same thing. Change direction. And upgrade the roads. Now, this is still not relieving the congestion on this part. So I think I might actually have a special exit just for the industrial area maybe well that might help a bit but considering they're mostly going in here it actually might be useful well there's a lot of people using the buses <laughs> that's pretty cool well, they're all going that way, but maybe like, okay, I think I have an idea to solve this going to be a road that goes like this. This might not be the greatest of ideas, but it should help. And also, I'm going to change it so that cars can only go straight or right. Because going left would make them get stuck even more. 
Well, this is doing well, I guess. But maybe also upgrade this road. Road. No, this one. So that cars can have two lanes to go in and only one lane to go out. And this really is a place the trucks really want to go to. So. And they're going around here also. So let's just upgrade this also. Okay, I think I know what is the cause of this. The trucks want to take a left turn and go everywhere because they're trucks and they want to go out or go to the commercial areas. So maybe have another exit here. Might not be the greatest idea as, as I said before, too many intersections. And this one could actually benefit to having it go like this. And also change it so that the cars can go through here without stopping. Yeah, that's good. Well, I think it's going to leave the congestion here as it is for now, as I would like to expand as there's a lot of residential demand. And this time, I think I'm going to expand a little bit differently as over here I had a lot of grids and grids aren't the best things as they are bad to look at. So I'm going to start off with some curves. But first, I have a road that goes like this. And since there's a train track here, and I would like to expand this way, but not from the base of the city here. I'll have it go like this. Since, wait, actually, no. have it go 31 to match up with this. This might still kind of look like a grid, but... It won't be that much of a grid, I guess. I could tell it like that. And also the same here. And hold on. That's not right. Is this 102 and this should be hmm did i miss it before 131 yeah and have some roads going here well they're gonna have the same entrances as these to create as little intersection as possible but maybe have connection here this one is 31 and 31 that's good and the mirror image well not mirror but similar here and no like this that and then in order to match up with the curve I'm gonna have a curve within the curve like so that looks nice to me like that and 
crossroads. Well, a creature can go through anyway, so like this. And the same here. And I'm going to have the roads going this way. So they differentiate from the other ones a bit. And like that. Same thing here. And there we go. It kind of is still a grid, but at least it's not all rectangles and squares. Now have some pipes. This is going to be a little difficult, so I'm going to do it like this. Like that. And over. Same here. Demolish these. And like this. Well, the pipes are still a grid, but it works better like this. As I don't have to create some special pipe pattern just for these spaces. And what is this white thing? All oh, right, this road. Okay. And time to put some zoning. And I feel like having some high density zoning here. So I'm going to upgrade these roads to four lanes, as well as the ones that connect it. Same here. And now zoning all of this and this. Now I'm going to wait for this first and then zone there. And commercial here and here. And since we have a little bit of industrial demand, I'm going to have some offices which are going to be in these spots. And need some fire coverage, which can go right here with a uh, big fire station. Well, actually have it more centered here would be a little better. Yes, and big city, we have the water treatment plants, which is very good. Connect a road here and remove zoning there. So I'm not going to get the zone on these places and at actually no gonna have gonna zone on everything even though these buildings are gonna be small it's gonna be fine and it seems like a lot of people are moving in and our demand is being satisfied but looks like we need a more commercial so put it here here and residential here as well and connected road brush there and it seems like a lot of people are using these interchanges this interchange specifically well that's a lot of backup and this is mostly caused by the traffic light here as cars need to stop so maybe we should get some trains to get people into the city and there's a train track right here 
that is that goes right through with a overpass here which doesn't seem that effective since trains can't go across but I'm going to connect it here anyways so let's have some one way roads in between here and here at 15 it goes around like so and this might be a little too close for a parking lot it definitely is too close so instead of having there i'm gonna have seven yes like that and let's have some trains and this is just a little train station i guess so maybe a four track but doesn't fit either so i could just curve the track over like this yes so i'm gonna bulldoze this first place the station there yeah and then have rows like this and uh, train tracks here and connect them over so we need a smooth track with turn before like so and since we're going to curve over as well as going this way let's have track in between so like this yeah turn off zoning here for now and have some train tracks going here 24 as well because trains can have do what they want here same 24 here <laughs> no not roads train tracks and in order to connect this with these i feel like a track going like this and one that splits off will actually be better so actually this shouldn't here and let's have a tr track that goes in between and for let's say 20 units and then connect it up like so yes that seems nice and how far is this again five so this and this is five so how much is this again 20 yes 20 remove this Connect it up. Extend this track to go here. And this is one. Okay, so the tracks aren't at the greatest distance away. But I guess that will have to do. This is... I no, it's not. Definitely isn't. Is it? Is it actually two units though? No, it's not actually two units. So this isn't going to look the best, but it's fine. Let's go 10. And just curve them in. like that
Nope, not there. Like that. And connect it up. Now, eventually, we should start seeing some trains going here. But that would probably take a while. But at least we have a train station now. Which will allow people to come in from outside and in. And also I'm remembering that I have some power connections. Underground cables that are probably unnecessary now. This is necessary. This probably isn't, but I'm just gonna leave it. And it seems like we are still having traffic problems. As well as more this demand. Office. So like this. And that. Not here. This one also here. And also some commercial demand. So put it over here. And we also need some buses to go around here also. And maybe actually... No, these can stay here, but I'm going to have one that goes around and goes on the same stops with the blue color because this is a local-ish stop and it can go here and there and then the next one is going to go like this around and also have a stop here and like that And there's already people waiting for a bus here. Oh, we have trains! Oh, I, I, I totally missed it. Wow, that's a lot of- that's a lot of people. People are definitely using the trains. Wow, we already got 267 people using the trains. That's good. And we're having a little bit of garbage issues, I think. Our incineration status is just above optimal. Which makes sense, so... Yeah, let's put it here. And here. Which will ink <laughs> be an issue with traffic, but... I don't really see any way to fix that except for putting some garbage here, which may not be a bad idea, but we'll just see how the things need. Have a place here. Healing capacity. We could use a crematoriums here. Okay, this isn't straight, so let's just put it here and here. And this is our okay, we're gonna put it here and use move it to move it there. As well as a hospital. But we don't really need a hospital yet, so I'm just gonna have a clinic that goes right beside the fire and a lot of people are already using the buses well I think we're getting into a point where we could be using a few metros or subways but that might not fit the current layout might not be the best for the current layout as it's not really designed to house a subway. 
But I guess I could have it go through the neighborhoods like this. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So they're going to go here and loop around and go to university and through the industrials areas but then should it be one line or multiple lines i usually have the metros going on the arterial roads but it seems it's actually better to have them be right inside the neighborhoods even though they increase the sound well noise level is actually better so I'm gonna move this over and let's have some metros now should I have regular metro stations or the metro pedestrian stations hmm might actually be better to have a pedestrian ones because they're better I think as no because we're not going to have major interchange stations so actually just having the normal metro station might be better but do I have one that looks nicer this one yep yeah, this one will work and the maximum station length and let's have it 18 deep like so and then having one here will be nice so i'm gonna use a curved one like so and the same over here but with this one I think yeah like that and then using the straight ones since this is the low residential low density residential area I'm gonna have it go like this and what's this this is a oh, you can demolish that have it here and another one there and one right in the middle of the industrial area which is good for workers another one here and this one's going to go curve into the university so let's have a curve station right here and have the last station go right here which will require pedestrian access so let's go like this and it's connected that was easy now the metro tunnels have them going over so these straight ones will be easy as they go just straight like this but since these go curve ish it won't really be that big of a difference if I did it like this so going to make not that straight which doesn't look as great but it will be fine since the curves aren't that bad big city capital city what was it capital city and like this and that this is expensive, but we have a lot of money, so it's fine. 
And now we need the metro... Where is it? The depot? Hmm, where's the... Oh. Where is it? Is it this one? No? Did I screw myself over and not subscribe to that? Oh, this is embarrassing. So I guess I'll fix it for the next episode. And I'm just gonna have this all as one line. I'll do that in between episodes and I'll be back next time with a working metro system and maybe a little bit more building so goodbye have a good time